What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's video where we are actually prepping for our next drift event which is next week and it's the class qualifier. So we're going to be attempting to do B class but there's a few things I wanted to look at on the car and just do the fluids in general for the engine and for the diff. But I wanted to discuss one particular item which a long time ago I made a video on. I was super hyped on it and nowadays I'm not so hyped on the idea of it. So a long time ago we put on the Fumoto valve which is designed essentially to make very quick oil changes. Now it does a great job at that quick oil changes but I'm really worried in the back of my head going to these events driving the car super super hard that there's metal shavings being you know left over where it can't get past the little nipple of the shutoff valve which I'll show you in a second here. Uh, I'm just worried about that. This product is really for like casual maintenance. It's really not meant for a race car or a wannabe race car. Let's go. Yeah, I guess it's a wannabe race car. So I just don't think that this product was made for the particular application that I'm putting the car through right now. I think it's time to change it. So besides the drain plug on the bottom, we are changing one, two other things that are kind of crucial. Not crucial, but we're just changing brands. Uh, we usually go with Motul as much as we can, but this time around, we just couldn't get it. Uh, so couldn't get it in time. The shipping is kind of crazy on Motul. Uh, so we're actually gonna wait because this is still so hot, but yeah. Shipping crazy on Motul, so instead we went with a brand new oil, literally came out like a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're going to be using KNN's 5W30. Uh, then this here is the plug that we are going with. So this plug is a little different than a normal, ordinary magnet. If you just get a normal magnet plug um, from most companies, they don't really tell you what kind of magnets they use. And the issue with not caring what kind of magnet you're using in that situation is because certain magnets, common magnets, usually lose their effectiveness at like 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is typically below what most racing applications uh, dictate, right? Most of our cars go up into the 200s, like 220s, 230s easily. So since the temperature effectiveness is right at that sweet spot of 170, 180, once you start cranking the temperature up, I believe it would start losing its effectiveness. It would just be too hot for it to hold on to the metal particles and it would release it back into your engine. So that's what I'm trying to avoid here when I picked one out. Uh, I didn't know about it till I read into this company and then looked into the magnets they, they use. And yes, they are rated at a way higher temperature, up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit this is rated to. So we should see no issues issues with that. I want to say issues because I don't think I've ever heard of this being an issue. It's just me being nitpicky and me wanting to kind of get the best parts for this car because it is starting to add up to like little bits and pieces of like really good parts that I really enjoy. So at this point I got to wait for the car to cool down so I think I'm just going to do the diff while I have the time because I don't think the diff would get that hot hopefully. So the way you drain oil with these Fumoto valves is it's a little valve right there and you just flick it. There's currently a little zip tie on there that I need to get off. So usually there's a clip here that's much more convenient than the method shown here, but that's kind of convenient. So I don't know, bo both are pretty convenient, but once you got that going, uh, yeah, just do that. Flick the button and all your fluids will dump. So that's cool. But, I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to see here on camera, it's a very, very small nipple. I have honestly been dreading this part since the last time I tried to do this. Because this valve, 
I'm telling you, is not easy to get off either. So that's another issue I have with it. Ugh. Is I don't enjoy the way that it comes on and off. It's just like, I don't know. I guess if it is a permanent solution, it's not that bad. But I don't enjoy it. Um, just at this point, how much I'm working on the car. How much I'm beating on the car. I don't need this kind of like convenience thing. I can deal with buying a, a new washer and turning a wrench every now and then. Uh, as opposed to not knowing what kind of metal is in this bottom. I will say real quick, this magnet, pretty strong, for sure. That is going to be it for this session of working on the car pretty much. And I'm happy we've solved that valve issue and we are now going to be trying out k &N's new oil. It's pretty cool. So hopefully this is a good choice for what we're about to do next weekend. So without further ado, that is it. If you have not already, check out the video that came out before this and I will catch you later on.